farmhouse. I'm Leanne and if you're new to my channel, I do cooking and baking from scratch, canning and dehydrating videos. And if that sort of thing is just you, feel free to subscribe to the channel. And if you find value in this video, please hit the thumbs up. I really appreciate it and it sure helps my channel to grow. Today I'm going to give you a little tour of my garden, see what's doing good, what's not doing so great, and what am I pulling from the garden to preserve and how I'm preserving it. Got a busy day ahead of me and it looks like I'm having a busy week. So let's get this show on the road. All right, let's begin. We have our leaf lettuce about the bolt, our Swiss chard we cut yesterday and froze, and my carrots need pulled, my beets need harvested, and my cabbage, ugh, can you, it's just gorgeous except for all the holes in it. And my broccoli, that was harvested maybe two weeks ago. And my cauliflower, look at that. That is gorgeous. And I need to cut that here soon. Now my onions, they've made a comeback. And I think we actually might have a harvest. And I was worried about them. But I think it was that 15 degree day that we had right when we planted them that made them hold back. And this is the first year I've decided to put parsley in the garden and it's doing wonderful. And I'm going to make chimichurri sauce with this here soon. This is the only basil plant I started from seed that lived and I thought it was going to die when I planted it. It didn't even have leaves on it when I planted it. I don't start all my plants from seed. I actually like to buy from local greenhouses. And this greenhouse so highly recommended these Big Bertha peppers for canning. I'm excited to see how they do this year. And my cabbage is looking pretty good. I can't remember a better year of cabbage. And so I'll definitely be making some sauerkraut and some coleslaw and putting it on the grill here soon. And here's some yellow wax beans that my husband snuck into the garden. We just love how productive yellow wax beans are versus green beans. And we could get maybe five different harvests off the yellow wax beans. And look how big the beets are. I think they're ready to pull. You do not want big beets. They get woody and they are not edible, let me tell you. So don't let them get too big. And our leaf lettuce is about done for. And if anybody has a recommendation on a lettuce that doesn't bolt, I would love to hear about it because as soon as our lettuce is done, our tomatoes are finally getting green. I, I think it's a conspiracy. And welcome to the jungle where we have lots of vines, lots of blooms, and lots of fruit. This is low maintenance. All we do is plant the, the tomatoes and we let them grow and the tomatoes turn red and we are able to produce 300 pounds easily of fruit that we turn into sauce, sauces, and juice, and anything else that's tomato related. I love being able to search and search for new recipes to try when I have an abundance of tomatoes. These are the Prudence Purple tomatoes that we got from Monticello on our honeymoon and I have had two pound tomatoes and they taste wonderful. They are a great slicing tomato. We grow a couple of these. They're early determinants so you have to enjoy them quickly. If you remember from my last video on my garden that my husband went behind my back and planted zucchini and cucumbers well, they didn't come up and he planted green beans instead and these green beans were the best crop we've ever had all right let's talk corn this is sweet corn i can't tell you what variety it is but it's coming along nicely and this which is like nine feet tall is indian corn which we're trying for the first time i'm excited to see that and see how it comes out and then the corn down at the other end is glass gem corn which is a decorative corn and I'm excited to have it on hand because it is so pretty. Now let's talk potatoes. They are doing well. The candy onions not so much. We think that the potatoes shaded them too much from the sun and they 
just basically didn't do anything because they didn't get the proper amount of sunlight. And these are wine berries. They are very invasive, so make sure you keep them in check. And they are so good. They are similar to a raspberry. I got red bell peppers, and I have sweet peppers, and banana peppers growing this year. And yes, I only bought 20 pepper plants. I had great control this year and not plant 70 like I've done in years past. And we also have lima beans over there that we planted when the zucchini didn't take. Thanks so much for watching. I'm glad you stopped by the farmhouse. Now I want you to remember God gave you a great day. Now go do something great with it.